What's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more Five Nights at Freddy's Killer on Christmas or Killer in Purple, whichever one you guys prefer. We're back on the game because, as you guys know, this is going to be the final update for or the final video for the Christmas update on the game. And as you guys know, in the last video, we found a secret QR code that the developer told me that I should scan and re like react to with all of you guys. He said it's pretty crazy, so I should be in for a treat here, and it's going to be a lot of fun. And of course, we also have to take on the Scott Coffin fight once again. So there's going to be a lot of fun stuff happening in this video. But let's go ahead and start by getting this QR code and scanning it. So I'm going to go ahead and hop in as Freddy. Fazbear because, or Freddy Fazbear, Freddy Frostbear because, you know, it doesn't really matter who we're playing as. We just need to hop into the ball pit and start that little mini game here. So, let's go ahead and go out this way. Excuse me, door. Get out of the way. And, uh, oh, like goal for this video. Um, I, I don't know. I feel like we set too easy of a like goal in this series. You guys always crush no matter what like goal I set. So, we're just gonna set it as, uh, infinite likes on this video. Alright, guys, if we can crush that, then wow, that'd be incredible. <laughs> Because it's literally endless, but hey, let's see. All right, so here we go. So the plan is I just got to run past all... The Are you okay? Oh, okay. He wasn't moving, so I thought maybe he was going to be friendly. But no, it was because I was on the table. I didn't have proper manners, so he was just like, bro, I'm not even going to attack you if you're not going to have proper manners in my establishment. All right, let's go right through here. And okay, so here's the QR code right here. I'm going to go ahead and scan it right now with my iPhone. Because I'm pretty sure if you scan something with your iPhone, like a QR code, it should automatically... Oh, yep. Open in YouTube. Okay, well, here's the video. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it up and uh, let's react to it. Okay, so I'm on the video and I love how all of the comments are just you guys like all saying Fusion Gamer sent to you. I came from Fusion. I think everyone did. LOL. <laughs> it's like all the comments are here from Fusion, here from Fusion, here from Fusion or Rexter. So it looks like most of you guys have already seen this video because I sent the last video to just check it out and give me a hint as to what it could be. And we got plenty of hints. You guys said it has to do with his next game, Park of Horror, and it's titled Park of Horror Official Release Trailer. So let's go ahead and watch it. All right, here we go, guys. All right, we got the little Golden Freddy Cinema. You know, icon, you gotta have that in there. Let's see, Golden Freddy Cinema. So this is gonna be our first look at his newest game. Welcome to the eight o'clock news. Everyone is still looking for a woman with blonde hair. She went missing almost six months ago and no one has seen any sign of her. If you have seen her or something hair. shady going on with kidnapping, Call the police in your local area or mail us. Now on some other big news. Fazbear Entertainment announced that a Freddy Fazbear's amusement park will be open at the beginning of Ooh. 2021. They also announced that almost every friend of Freddy Fazbear will be in Freddy's fan land. Also, as a special for the park's opening day, the new owner of the park will be walking around the opening day as one of the characters. Most people expect her to swear the new <gasps> character oh, announced by Fazbear Entertainment creepy. called Vanny. Will we be seeing more of Foxy in Pirate Adventure, Chica in Pizzaland, Bonnie in Freddy in Space, and Freddy in Fazbear Manor? We'll what? see on the opening day on Oh, okay, so he's saying that it's gonna be a full park of horror, which obviously that's what it's called. There's gonna be different Brandon, sections. Your friends are worried about you. Hey, oh. here with me. Please come to me. Brandon, I may have lost my temper earlier, but it was just a glitch. It won't happen again. Oh my goodness. It's been such a difficult night for all of us. Why don't you come out and we can go on a ride together? Wow, this is gonna be cool. Oh. Pirate Island? Look at that. The Ferris wheel? That looks cool. Okay, so it's gonna be like a main. It's gonna be an actual theme park where you walk in. And you can go to different areas in the park and be like attacked by different animatronics. Freddy? Okay, Bonnie. Oh. No way. He's showing everyone who's gonna be in the game Chica, Foxy. Toy Freddy, Toy Chica, Toy Bonnie, Balloon Boy, JJ, Mangle, Withered Freddy, Withered Bonnie, Withered Chica, Withered Foxy, Shadow Bonnie, Shadow Freddy, Golden Freddy, Puppet, Spring Trap, Phantom Freddy, Phantom Chica, Phantom Foxy, Phantom BB, Phantom Mangle, Phantom Puppet, Fred Bear, Spring Bonnie, Fan Nightmare Freddy, Nightmare Chica, Nightmare Bonnie, Nightmare Foxy, Nightmare Mangle, Plush Trap, Nightmare, <laughs> I can't keep up, Jackal Bonnie, Nightmare Circus, Baby Melora, Eddard, Funtime Foxy, Lol Bit, Mr. Hippo, Happy Frog, Ned Bear, Pig Patch, Orville, Lefty, Rockstar Freddy, Rockstar Bonnie, Rockstar Chica, Rockstar Foxy, Rock Molten Freddy, Molten Scrap Baby, Grim Foxy, Dread Bear, Freddy Frost Bear, Shamrock Freddy, uh, Chocolate, the, the, the FNAF AR animatronics, I can't keep up, dude. Toxic Spring Trap, Liberty Chica, oh my dude, everyone is in this. Ringmaster, this is all the FNAF AR animatronics right now. Boulder, yep, these Vanny, Glitch Trap, Goldie, and more. If Scott adds more, please don't. What? 
How is he going to do this? Five Nights at Freddy's Park of Horror. What the heck, dude? How is he going to add that many animatronics into the game? January 17th. Okay, so guys, that was that was what was behind the QR code. Holy, okay, wow, now I'm back in the game and it's super loud. But okay, that's really cool. So it's going to be like all of, it's gonna be like every animatronic in, in every game put into one game and it's gonna be a giant amusement park. How is he gonna do that though with, like how? <laughs> I'm just curious how he's gonna do that because I mean, this game had some pretty bad FPS and with that many animatronics, that game's gonna have some horrible FPS. I don't. I mean, obviously he's gonna play test and stuff like that, but wow, that's gonna be crazy. So you're gonna walk into the park. You're gonna be able to choose different areas to go to. So you're gonna have a, a pirate cove. You're gonna have a Freddy area. He said like there's gonna be a different area, and it, it, I think they had the same names as the Help Wanted um, DLC. If you guys remember Curse of Dreadbear, I think it was that one. Yeah, the, the Foxy minigame and stuff like that. It looks like it had that same kind of uh, the same names from that. So. Wow, I am excited. <laughs> That's going to be a lot of fun. All right, let's go and get eaten, though, by uh, Pit Spring Bonnie here. And let's go back to the menu here because I do want to go ahead and do that uh, that Scott Cawthon boss fight here. So, yeah, I'm excited for that, though. January, though. That's so close. All right, let's go ahead and press play again, though. Um, now, who do we want to play as to fight Scott, though? That's the real question. But, guys, are you guys excited for that game? Because if you guys are, smash like on the video and drop a comment down below. And uh, whenever that comes out, we'll definitely hop on that on the channel here. Because I'm assuming he, he might send it to me early if we're lucky. And uh, if you guys want to see it, hey... You guys best believe I'll definitely play that. All right, so I'm thinking for the Scott Cawthon boss fight, we should probably do Freddy Frostbear because with him, we can freeze him and probably get a ton of free attacks in and probably be able to, you know, take him out super quickly. So that's going to be my go-to strat. All right, we're just going to do the, the freeze attack and go after him. All right, so how do we do this fight again? I think I got to go through here and then we got to go to the phone, right? If I remember correctly, in the FNAF 1 office, which is over here. Excuse me, children. All right, I know my usual job is to, well, do a lot of stabbing, but we're not going to do that, okay? We're going to go ahead and activate the phone okay here we go so oh what the heck what is that noise dude there's some weird glitchy noises okay so oh dude that scared me i thought that <laughs> i thought the tree was a person i was like what animatronic is that no it's just a, tr a christmas tree okay so oh i forgot he can go through tables but i can too all right you're not the only one that can do that all right so here we go i'm gonna press q and we're gonna instantly start attacking him okay i hope this works q what he's not oh my okay no <laughs> You can't freeze him. He's invincible to it. I, wh why does it work on everyone else but not Scott? Like, what the heck? <laughs> everybody else, you can, you can freeze. The police, everyone. The children, the parents, literally everything. But not Scott. All right, well, let's not use that ability. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter who we play as if you think about it. Because, you know, none of their abilities will work on him. So I might as well just play as anyone I want, really. And Freddy Frostbear is the newest character. So let's go ahead and hop into third-person mode. And let's go ahead and fight Scott again. Because obviously, that, that first time, that didn't count, all right? I thought he was going to be frozen in place. I thought he was going to be frozen solid like a rock, all right? And I'd be able to get some free attacks on him. But we know that's not possible. All right, now I want to test something else here. If I run straight up to him... Oh, no, no. Quick, quick, quick. What if I start attacking him now? Does this do anything? No, it does nothing. Can I get a free hidden? No, I can't. Okay. Well, I don't know how the heck. Oh my! How? How are? I can't even attack him. I literally cannot even attack him. Look, I can't attack. I can't do any damage. What is going on? <laughs> was it Vandy that we were using that was able to like hit him from further away? Because this is not working. I don't. Oh wait, maybe I have. To, oh, that's what it is. I have to have the knife out. I always. I just assumed because we were in third person. I already had it in my hands. So like, oh, I probably have it out. No, I don't have it out. All right. Well, this sucks. I don't know how the heck I'm gonna take this thing down. Literally, I can't. I, I have to be facing him, too. I think you have to do it in, like, first person. But last time we did this, we didn't really get an ending. So I'm curious if we'll even get anything this time. But I, I guess we're going to find out here if I can actually defeat him, that is. Okay, keep running, keep running. Hit him again. All right, this is going way faster, though, this time. I'm going to press Q, even though I don't think it's going to do anything. <laughs> I wish it did, though. Like, I wish, like... Okay, maybe not the same ability as in the main game. But, like, it'd be cool if his ability, like, slowed him down or something. Instead of, you know, just doing nothing. I, I think that'd be way better. Or, like, every character had, like, their own, like, small minor ability change that, you know, that it only does when, it, when when you're fighting Scott. I don't know. It only happens when you're fighting Scott, I should say. Because that would be cool. Like, Vanny, her knife that maybe does, like, a little bit of extra damage. Or she can do, like, a special swipe attack at him or something. But, I don't know. I think he's already done updating this game anyways. Right, let's get another attack in. 
All right, so I'm going to keep circling him here. I'm going to try to defeat this guy, and I'll start it whenever I do. All right, guys, so we are now on the finale here for the boss fight. It's been pretty simple. I've just been doing the same thing I did the first time I defeated it, which is just running in these tables over and over again. And I think if I hold shift, I run a little bit faster. I can't tell. It feels like I do. So I'm, I'm just holding shift and running in circles. But here we go. He has one more hit left, and then we defeat him. I don't know if there's going to be anything new here. I think the only thing he really said was that he had the Christmas hat on to him. But I wanted to try it anyways just to see because you never know. All right, here we go. The final hit. And... Oh, Ooh, look at that. He just blows up, dude. <laughs> he literally just explodes. Actually, he implodes. He blows up within himself. What the? What? Wait, did that happen last time? I remember this happening, I'm pretty sure. But the whole him imploding, I don't know about that one. All right, let's see what happens here. Is it just going to... It's just going to crash my game, isn't it? It's just going to crash it. I can feel it. Unable to restart, starting backup. Successfully replaced Scott Cawthon by Goldie. Goldie plushes model removed from future files. Goldie ported to Goldie.dev. Ooh, he now has full control over Golden Freddy Cinema games back in the 80s. So he's completely taken over the game. All right, I don't think I can do anything here, but <laughs> I can't go. Oh, wait, I was able to press OK and it just, it just crashed the game. <laughs> It just closed the game. Why? Come on. I was so I was just hoping it was going to bring me back to the menu or something like that. But all right, I'm starting to back up. So we have one last thing to do in our final video for the game here. We've done everything in the game, everything in the new update. I, I hope. <laughs> I really hope I didn't miss something that's like, you know, we're going to have to go back, but I doubt it. So there's only one thing left to do, and that's to go into the, the help section, not in the help section, the extras menu, and just check out the Freddy Frostbear model. And that's it. After that, we are done. We've 100% completed the game. Again, so here we go. Extras menu. Let's go ahead and hop in. Oh, look, even the little Golden Freddy plush has a uh, hat on it right there. I didn't notice that at the start. All right, here we go. The extras menu. So last time we were in here. Oh, here we go. So, oh, yeah, look. The purple guy, the 8-bit version of him, has a little top hat on. A little, why do I call it a top hat? The Christmas hat. And look at that, guys. Everyone here has a little Christmas hat on. It's just a fun, it's a fun little, like, you know, style to them now. You know, they're not the typical animatronics. Now they're Christmas-themed. I wish they had, like, some Christmas lights hanging on them or something like that, though, too. Even though, I don't know how that'd work, because they'd have to be constantly plugged into a wall, but <laughs> it'd be cool nonetheless. All right, so, yeah, is that really it? That's all that's in here, I guess. Yeah, there's Eleanor. Wait, where's her Christmas hat, huh? What's going on here, huh? She's supposed to have one. There's the children. And that's it, guys. All right, so I'm going to end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, smash like on the video down below. And, of course, whenever he releases another update for this game, we'll definitely play it. And uh, I guess I'll be seeing you guys in January whenever he releases his newest game because that's going to be a lot of fun. But until then, I mean, we have so many more FNAF fan games to play through. As, as you guys know, Five Nights at Treasure Island, we still have to complete that one. That one's a blast. If you guys haven't checked out that video series, do so because that is one of the creepiest games that have been released this year and we still got more on the backlog so yeah we're gonna have plenty to play until then but i'm definitely looking forward to january because uh, i want to see his newest game and how that's going to take place anyways i'll see you guys in the next one peace out